It's cataractcoach.com, and today we're talking about loading a three-piece lens. There it is, an Alcon MA60 series in a power of 1.0 for a very large, very myopic eye with a long axial length. There's the lens in the anti-S configuration, which is correct. We need to get our cartridge here. We're going to use a B cartridge. And this is the cartridge that has a little peg there on the end, which I'll show you. We fill the cartridge with viscoelastic. You can use either one. I tend to prefer the dispersive. I put a little cohesive there at the end because we ran out. And here comes the lens. We'll pick up the lens. And it's the correct orientation. This is not a planar lens. This has an angulation to the haptics. Very important to have it the correct orientation in the eye. There's the picture to match it up. Don't fold the leading haptic over. Keep it straight. Push the optic here. Let's get it down the barrel of the cartridge. And very importantly, get the trailing haptic and put it on the outside of that peg. That keeps that trailing haptic away from the pusher so that it goes down without being kinked. We now snap this cartridge into the injector. Here it goes. And advance the plunger. And there it goes. The very tip you want. Notice the haptic is correctly oriented. So because the haptic is correctly oriented, it's going to come out in the correct orientation. Again, anti-S. There's the leading haptic. It goes right in the capsule bag in the correct orientation. We twist it to get the rest of the optic out. There it is. And now we can get the trailing haptic in as well. Importantly, we're confirming that the lens is in the eye correctly in the anti-S configuration. We can dial the haptics into the capsule bag just like that. And that looks great. Now let's do it again and watch what happens now. We're now at a different patient, loading up the same exact lens. This patient also needs a one diopter lens, another highly myopic eye. We'll load it the exact same way, getting the lens here, putting it on top of our viscoelastic, grabbing the correct anti-S configuration. There it is, lining it up, there's the picture, going down the barrel very cleanly, advance it, Nice and slowly. There we go, just seating it appropriately. What's gonna happen here, and we'll do everything correctly. There's the one diopter lens, a different patient though. What's gonna happen is, the leading haptic will twist as it goes down the plunger. Watch. When it goes down the tip of this injector, being pushed by the plunger, that leading haptic will twist in the incorrect orientation. Click it into the injector, slowly advance the plunger. It goes down the barrel to the funnel tip, and look at that. The leading haptic has flipped the opposite direction that we want. What does that mean? When we put it inside the eye, we start off this way, but we have to now twist the injector upside down, flip it, up, flip it over. Flip the entire injector over there. Now deliver so that that leading haptic still comes out in the correct orientation. Now stop, flip the injector back the other direction, and now deliver the rest of the IOL. Very important. So when you push the lens down the funnel shape of the injector cartridge, watch the leading haptic. If it flips, then you must also flip your injector tip as you advance the lens down the plunger, and as you put it into the capture bag. That looks great. Now we can go behind the lens, remove viscoelastic, clean up, and finish this case. Very, very important. If you're going to use a three-piece lens, and sometimes you're going to have to, you must make sure that when you inject it, it goes in the eye in the correct orientation. And the key for these three-piece lenses is watching the leading haptic. If the haptic twists in the tip of the injector, you need to flip the injector inside the eye and deliver the leading haptic correctly. If it goes down straight, you're good to go. So keep these points in mind, and thank you again for watching. We appreciate it.